Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are playing some more Starfield. No, wrong one. And we have to do another mission for what I believe is the Thieves Guild. <coughs> But we cannot be seen while doing this one. So this one is going to be a lot trickier. Ah, I never tire of visiting worlds like this. So we cannot be seen. And actually, I am going to make a save. And we have to get into there. Travel to Hope Tech. I think we can be seen out here, but on the off chance that we're not yeah so we were just seen okay so yeah so that does not go where i wanted to go fair enough I need to readjust in my chair real quick. All right. Yeah, trying to get through here without being seen. Not really doable, honestly. I don't want to hear any complaints. Yeah, you can't really yeah. Unless there's another another way in, maybe. I doubt it. See, so, yeah, I'm betting. If you can't protect your own, you don't belong here. I'm betting the no detection begins in here. But, like, we're already seen, so... We broke that one already. Ron Hope certainly embodies the saying, spared no expense. You know, I'm surprised that no one's ever on the... My company only uses Hope Tech ships. Never had a problem with them. Must be for back here. How were we detected? Yeah, how are we being seen right now? There's nothing around us. How are we being seen? Oh. Yeah, so you can't really do this one. Without being seen. Put it in there, huh? Okay. Are 
Pak C. I think this is how we get to it. Um, it is not how you get to it. How do you get onto the ship? You have a death wish or something? And the gravity's way too high, so the jetpack won't really do much for me here. I have to get inside somehow. Okay. How do I get inside? Does the cargo bay is not down? So I can't get inside of it. away from opening door. So that's the cargo bay. How do I get in this thing? Not enough oomph. Hmm. How do I get in it?
Cause that's a hatch, but it won't open. Why can't I jump? I'm pressing jump and it won't jump. I think it's bugged. Then I'm missing something. get into it. Because all it says is to plant it. It doesn't say... It doesn't have another marker to open the doors or nothing. So, I... Don't know what to do. I think it's bugged. <clears throat> hmm. Because none of the hatches are opening. I can't get in the ship. <clears throat> and there's no controls anywhere. I honestly think it is bugged out. But I could be wrong. Yeah, I don't know. Now, is this how I get into it? I found it. Okay. Ah, I found it. Okay, so it was not bugged. I had to find the right way to get into it. Fair enough. Oh, no. There are guys here. Okay. That's why she said don't get caught. That's why she said, don't get caught. I 
I wish I could turn the camera, but I can't. Dang it. Oh, and they're green, not red. Oh, interesting. Now see, I don't think we were caught, but maybe we were. Because they didn't actually get aggroed on us, we'll have to see when we get back. But yeah, trying to do this without being seen is... You can't really do it because they can see you no matter where you are. Unless you have like some stupidly overpowered... Stealth system or whatever. So... Just waiting on the credit check. You're okay. There are a ton of distractions in Neon, so I expect you to be on your best behavior here. Oh yeah, can we talk to her, I wonder? Nope, okay. We have a whole bunch more um, side quests to take on. Frank Rennick's all in a <coughs> twist because his robot got vandalized. We had a good laugh about it back at the station. <laughs> nice, another side quest to do. Excellent. Don't mind if I do. My neck is hurting so much right now. I got no idea why. I wonder if... No, that's all the way down. Okay. Weird. Make it quick. I have a deadline. Hey there. Got an update for me? Good work. Now I can let Masako know how much she'll enjoy watching the news tonight. Now, on to the next, right? Oh, but before I forget, the results of your Astral Lounge escapades are in. 
I'm happy to say that the deal was officially called off. Hmm. Masako was pretty happy about the results, so she arranged for a small bonus through Linden. It won't buy you a new ship, but it's something. I wouldn't hold your breath on that one. Several other parties will be involved in that deal on a more legitimate level. And believe me, bonuses like this for operatives are few and far between. My sources tell me it was a train wreck. Once her numbers didn't match up, Arthur was all over her with questions. It didn't take long for her to break composure, and that's when she lost Zola. So you could say that presentation went perfectly, as far as we're concerned. Hence the bonus. You earned it. Mm. So, back to business. In order to stay on top of the market, we have to know what our competition is doing. The next assignment requires a more brute force approach, since the chances of them sharing that information is unlikely. Hmm. Oh, we definitely are. But why stay one step ahead when you can just leave the competition in the dust? We reverse engineer their plans, create a superior product, and beat them to market. We make the initial profit with less investment in R&D, and our competition is forced to reevaluate if their product is even viable. Correction. You are going to steal from them. Don't forget, if you get caught, Ryujin will deny all knowledge. Spoken like a true Ryujin employee. Your target is a prototype schematic for a new engine that Trident Luxury Lines is working on. According to the rumors, it's projected to be 17% more efficient than any engine on the market. Mm. The current schematic was sent to their star yard to begin prototyping, so they could be in the office area or the factory floor. The star yard is a mix of sales floor and manufacturing. If you're looking to blend in, you've definitely got options. It's not too far, in Aquila's orbit, so hopefully your ship's ready. You'll find the Trident Luxury Line Star Yard orbiting Aquila in the Cheyenne system. Remember, same rules apply. Don't get caught, and don't make a mess. <coughs> Alrighty. <sighs> don't get caught and don't make a mess. We're accounted for. We're ready to depart. This is three star collector space. <coughs> Hold while we scan your ship. Scan complete. Go ahead and land. So, Miss Stay Up Late reading under the covers. Did you last night? <laughs> don't pretend to be mad at me. I know you are. that back on Earth, people used to use the stars to navigate. That's so cool. But I guess it only worked because welcome they just lived Trident on one star yard. And All that sounds boring. Enjoy our amenities. <sighs> Remind me one of these days to tell you the tale of a certain Solomon Co. And where his stargazing landed him. All right. permission to dock. Ship is now docked. All right, I am going to make a save before we get off of the ship. Need to smudge the paint. And it is downstairs. Obtain the schematic. Got some business here? 
Hello ah. there. Welcome to Trident Luxury Lines, where we craft the finest and most luxurious starships in the galaxy. If you have any questions about our product line or would like to book a cruise, I'll do my very best to assist you. Now, how may I help you today? Oh. We do not sell ships or parts at this location. Oh. And it's not like you would have any use for parts or modifications anyway. A Trident ship is already perfect as it is. Yeah, but ships upgrades. If you have your own ship, we're always looking for bulk resources. The Star Yards have negotiated a set price with the Trade Authority, twice the market rate. Let me know if I can assist with anything else. Maybe if I save up for a million years, I'll be able to afford a Trident. Welcome to Trident. I'm not certain why we're visiting this oh. star yard. It's doubtful any of us have the credits to afford these overpriced vessels. So if I had a higher level in lock picking, I could sales computer. Okay. Oh, hey. Always on the lookout for a dependable partner to deliver vital resources to make. I mean, we got another job opportunity. If you have any questions, let me know if I can be of assistance. If you have your own ship, we're always the Star Yards have. No Certainly. Goodbye. Hold on. Speak to her. Okay. Do you have business here? Is a Trident best in class, top to bottom? No. Clearly no. Deimos has fantastic missile batteries. Stroud Eklund's shields are a thing to behold. But what a Trident may lack in those areas. It more than makes up for in style luxury. And comfort. A cruise on a trident can be a truly life changing experience. Of course, it's a point of pride to know my employer's products as well as their strengths and weaknesses. It's a character trait that is extremely valuable. And if I'm being honest, I have my own dreams of going out there one day. It's important to know the pros and cons of each ship, as I'm sure you're well aware. Mm hmm If you have your own ship, the Star Yards have negotiated a... As a first-time contractor, I am required by law to let you know that every Star Yard offers the same terms. But obviously, you should deal with us. Depending on your cargo hold size, you may need to make several trips to fulfill the order. So what we need is... Argon. We need a small shipment. 500 units of it. Come back later then. What we need is always changing. It was my pleasure. Alright. I'm not going to take that job because I don't have a valid way to get them the resources. Oh, hey. Nah. I can just buy them. Actually, how close am I to getting that upgraded? Wrong one. It'll be under science, wouldn't it? I mean, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. What's my health right now? I could go for more health, but I... I'm not certain why we're visiting this star yard. 
It's doubtful any of us have the credits to afford these overpriced vessels. Excuse me? This isn't Fallout 4, but I love the noises from that game. Thank you, Todd. We've got our eyes on you. Yeah, I'm sure you do. Sorry, I have a lot of work to do. Yes. Gross. It looks like it looks like crap. Well, I I know what that's for. I know what that's for. I know what that's for. Put those three things together, and then you got your answer. Oh, hello there. And it rhymes with hub. <laughs> <laughs> it rhymes with the hub. <laughs> Behave yourself. <laughs> the galaxy must see my latest masterpiece. Gladys, Gladys Coffin. What are you, you doing here? Philippe didn't say I should be expecting someone. This is the very heart of Trident, and we don't need strays. I find your apology acceptable. Well, I suppose since you're here, enjoy being in the presence of greatness. It's here that I, well, we create the next generation of Trident starships. Oh, yes, I am. I am Gladys Coffin, Chief Architect of Trident. If you have any other questions, make it fast. Listen, if you want to talk about the max safe tonnage of the Astra or other trivia, ask Gia. Me? I design the future. What great new heights we can go to. Back to crafting the future. Uh. Hi. Yeah, so it's definitely based on what they see. It's based on what they're looking at, at the current time. How? Is it her? It has to be her then. Oh, that was you've done that before. Easy. Oh, no, I'm seen. How am I seen? Oh, that's how.
No, no, let's not go there. No, those ones go here. This one goes here. Nope. I fudged it. Okay. Good to know I fudged it. Um, I mean, it's not like I don't have enough of these anyway. Uh, let's see. That was easy as heck. I'm working hard, Captain. I'm all ears. Do, 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 do. Hey, I wonder. I don't know about you, but a fella could do a lot worse in Constellation. Nope. Hey, good to see you. I need more of that stuff, huh? Fair enough. Fair enough. Drive. <laughs> These missions are easy as heck. Turn it into the boss. Just the person I wanted to see. You got that schematic? And we aim to keep it that way. I need to deliver this to Vina so she can start the reverse engineering process. But first, Ulara wants to see you. I've upgraded your security level so you can access the executive floor, where her office is. Oh. Tell her assistant Maeve, you have an appointment. I won't be far behind, in case you get lost. I mean, it's only worth 100 XP, but... They're easy quests so far. 
I heard about your run-in with Tomo. Executive offices. Hello. Well, isn't this fancy? <gasps> that is an absolutely gorgeous statue. The craftsmanship. It's unparalleled. I wonder if it was hand carved. My company's future might be riding on this deal. I can't talk now. I have a meeting soon. The Eugen, the Eugen CEO is no joke in the boardroom. Welcome to Ryujin Tower. Enjoy your day. The custodians just finished polishing everything. Keep your hands to yourself. Please let me know if there's anything I can do to make your visit more comfortable. I think that was yeah, the single most of stressful experience of my life. I hate waiting. It's just more time to tell myself. So. Well, I found the portage on. It has a leak, they need to fix that. I've got my eye on you. Well, of course, and I saw the eye on you. So much work to do. Shouldn't you be on assignment somewhere? No, I'm just free, Roman. I got permission to be here, so now I'm, you know. Whatever business you may have, it's certainly not here. Master, oh, oh, oh. well, they obviously all have something to compensate for. Tiny BB. Yeah, tiny BB. Imagine playing video games on that. They need to clean that screen. Oh my god. Clean your TVs. Good lord. Clean these two. Jeez Louise. I mean, how you can hire me as freaking janitorial and I'll freaking clean them for free. Okay, maybe not for free, but I'll can clean I help them. You? Yeah, can I have your chair? Because they're obviously compensating for the tiny. Woohoo! Name an appointment. Confirmed. Ularu is wrapping up a meeting with Genevieve. You can wait here or in the lobby area. I'll let you know when she's ready to see you. I see Imogene Salso is supposed to be with you. I'm right here, Maeve. Good. It should just be a moment. Well, sooner than I thought. Looks like Ularu's ready now. <laughs> you know, if they aren't willing, that leaves us with only one option. Don't wander into any restricted area. God, Ularu, is that always your response? Bite me! I don't want another PR mess on my hands. Yes, Viv, because you're too good at your job. No, we can talk details later. My next appointment's here. Fine, but you can break this news to Alexis at our next meeting. Well, hi there, big Gosh, boss lady. You're finally here. The one I've been hearing so much about. I'm Ularu Chen, head of operations here at Ryujin. So tell me. What do you think of your new job so far? In that case, it sounds like our initial impression <coughs> of you is turning out to be quite accurate. Now, my dear genie here says you've been through the basics of what we do and pulled off success every time. Five successful standard assignments and one specialized. And on top of all that, 
A flawless record. It's no wonder they love you up here. I happen to have a personal assignment that I'd like to send you on. One that involves meeting up with an outside contact. Oh. Genie seems to think you're more than capable of handling it. He's the best operative I've ever hired. <laughs> Let's not forget the only operative you've ever hired. Meeting with outside contacts isn't always as straightforward as your past assignments. Some can be fickle or demanding, so you'll need to decide how to handle them and what decisions to make on the fly. <sighs> I'd use the word trust loosely. We maintain a relationship of sorts. Those who come through get paid, and those who don't, <laughs> well... They won't live to regret it. Good. Because if not, I can't imagine we have much use for you here at Ryujin. Your contact is Simon Rychek. He claims to have information on a new project that Infinity LTD is working mm. on. He said it's a game changer that Ryujin would be especially interested in. So his asking price is the big thing to consider. Finance will reimburse up to a thousand credits. So if you have negotiation skills, use them. Simon's been working with us for years, so he'll pose no threat to you. He's paranoid, which is why I assume he's never been caught. But his information is typically worth it. Now in order to confirm your identity, Simon prefers code phrases. I'll let Jeannie give you the details on this one because the concept is just beneath me. Simon is into sports, so he enjoys any opportunity to talk about them. Gross. At some point, he'll casually say, Looks like the Galactic Raiders are the number one pick for the Universal Championship this year. You get to respond with, Razor Derby is the only real sport. Got it? Oh my god, you corporate types never cease to amuse me. Now I feel like I'm trapped in some kind of spy thriller B movie. Ha! <laughs> According to Simon Rychek, it's the only real sport in the galaxy. But if you want a lesson in sports, just ask him. Movies are more my thing when it comes to entertainment. You'll find him in Sidonia. So I hope your ship's fueled. Just look for him above the Lux condos in the plaza. You spoke very highly of this one, Genie. Let's hope he doesn't make a liar out of you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some things to take care of. Uh, thanks for the vote of confidence. Don't cause any trouble. All right, can we maybe... Yes, we can. So, the reimbursement, I'm assuming, is if we go anywhere above that. I might complain about landing here, but I have to admit, there is a sort of hidden beauty to the Martian landscape. Alright, make another save here. That way, in case we do fudge up, we'll have a save. All right. All right, so where is he? Hundred feet away, right? Yeah, hundred feet away. Okay. And he is up top. Up here, okay. Alright, and before we talk to him, we save the game again. Okay. You lost? 
or just come to ask an out-of-work miner how his day's going. Yeah, yeah. I just wish Sidonia had a bit more to offer while I'm trying to enjoy my unemployment. Not much in the way of entertainment around here. Speaking of, looks like the Galactic Raiders are the number one pick for the Universal Championship this year. Razor Derby is the only real sport. You're damn right it is. <laughs> I heard they were sending someone new. Nice to see you made it. I have information on a deal being proposed between Infinity LTD and Deimos Stockyards. It's my belief that your employers would be highly interested in the details. So I'm upping my price. It's steep, yes. But that is why I'm also offering a little side job if you can't pay up. Well, that's a bit of a steep price for the information. I think you're overreaching. Persuade. <laughs> Believe me, I know exactly what this is worth. Four and three turns, huh? I have a 10% chance of persuading with no persuade bonuses other than that. I like the way you think. Perhaps. All right, I'll lower the price. But that's my final offer. Unless you <coughs> prefer the side job now. Eight thousand. <laughs> You're going to like it. As you may guess, being an informant is not without its risks. I've heard there's a merc in Saturn's orbit who'd like to cross my name off her list. Malai Liskova. If you take her out and bring me her gun as proof, I'll consider my feet to be waived. Liskova has a sentimental attachment to that gun. Even named it Ember. She'd never just hand it over. It saved her life once or twice. Seems whenever it falls into enemy hands, it has a tendency to backfire or jam. <laughs> hmm. On top of that, she's superstitious, which makes the gun all the more precious to her. She's a freelance mercenary, used to work for Inception Technologies. But she likes her independence, so she went into business for herself. She specializes in killing for the right price. So before you get any second thoughts, you should think of it as doing the settled systems a favor. Now wait a moment. I don't believe murdering bounty hunters was included with the corporate job description. Hmm. Good point. You're doing me a tremendous favor. Just know she won't go down easily. So be prepared. Malai's ship is called the Detura. And like I said, you can find her in orbit around Saturn. She has a good point. I forgot about that. Let's reload and do it again. I forgot all about that. Sidonia, what a dump. You lost? If only speaking of. You're damn right it is. <laughs> I have information. It's my belief that it's steep, yeah. Oh, that's a bit of a steep. For this little tidbit? <laughs> oh. Let's not... <sighs> when you put it... All right, I'll lower the price. Okay, <laughs> side job. You're going to like it. As you may guess, I've heard there's a merc in Saturn. If you take her, Liskova, it saved her life once or two. <laughs> She's a freelance, but she likes her independent. She's special. 
This bounty hunter thing isn't our problem. We're not your personal bodyguards. Well then, let's see those credits. Where the hell are you going? I am going to... So. Now wait a moment. So no matter what option you choose... Okay. Is that a robot? Damn, that's cool looking. Alright, so no matter what option you choose... She so, dislikes it. Are you going to take care of my little problem? How much money days. do I have? Uh, it's 8,000. <laughs> I'm not going to use that. Ooh, it'll be a shame to leave that behind. It's a drug. No, thank you. Are you going to take care of my little problem? This bounty hunter thing isn't our problem. We're not your personal bodyguards. Well then, let's see those credits. I knew you'd see reason. The information I have is on a deal for something called Project Dominion. I'm giving you two slates. They contain surveillance and interaction data for Stanley McMillan, the Infinity Rep, that I obtained myself. I'm also giving you a third slate because you're going to need to download the files on Project Dominion off his computer yourself. Hmm. Best guess is it has something to do with <laughs> Infinity getting into the NeuroAmp business. Stanley McMillan seemed to think Ryujin would be the one company threatened by this news. So their entry must involve something big. Nice doing business with you. Listen to audio file. Oh, that's cool. Look at the, um, green button. That means that it hasn't been used yet. That's cool. What the hell are you doing in this dump of a city anyway? You draw the short stick at work or what? Infinity sent me to get Deimos to bite on a deal. It's even got a catchy code name. Project Dominion. Sounds like world domination to me, buddy. I'd buy into that in a heartbeat. Right? I'm telling hmm. you, this Project Dominion is the real deal. We ought to be selling this to Inception or Quantum. Hell, you should be in the Astral Lounge making Ryujin Industries beg for that tech. <laughs> That'd be the greatest irony of them all, but not this baby. Dominion is finally going to put Infinity first. We'll beat Ryujin at their own game. Schedule. Ooh, okay. Temporary home. No ship of his own and he has a chauffeur. Okay. Goodness, okay. Ugh. I hate sneezing whenever I'm recording videos. Good lord. My apologies. Alright, so we need to get into the demos. I have so much of this crap. Rap, I swear, I need to find the right one.
Uh, what song was it? Here it is. Stanley McMillan. I can probably put all of the slates on my ship since they don't take up space. Alright. Actually, you know what? That's what you're for, isn't it? If you don't mind, I'd like to speak to Admiral Logan sooner rather than later. Oh yeah, we gotta do that too, don't we? Dropping off a few choice items? Yeah. I am going to this, 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 this. I'll keep that on me. I want to deposit all of this stuff on her. Eh, 1% is not much. Okay, so I put away the Stanley one, but I can always pull it back out. Or did I not put it away? I thought I did. No, I did, but I don't see it in her inventory. I don't see it in her inventory. Where did it go? Where did it go? I don't see it anymore. Stanley McMillan. I don't see it in here at all. I don't see it anymore. Where is it? Where did it go? <clears throat> There's nothing in here with the name Stanley on it. Where did it go? Unless it's a quest item, is it? No, where? Oh my god, where the fuck is it, dude? I don't see it. Dude. Admiral Logan. Where did it go?
Okay, so none of those ones have Is it in here? There's the untraceable one, so it's a quest item. But where did his go to? I, I don't see it. Audio. Okay. I didn't see it before. This office shouldn't be terribly. Where the f like frick did it go? Whatever you need. Why isn't it alphabetical audio? Because audio is first, so it should be... I don't understand. No, son of a bitch, dude. Yeah, and it's not even here. I didn't see it at all in here. So it's not there. Where is it? Where is it? I didn't even see the audio one at all. Admiral Dude. Oh, because it's in here. Oh my god, seriously, dude. Is that why? So I can't give them miscellaneous. Dude, are you serious? Where's the audio one? I need to freaking find it. Dude, oh my god, I don't fucking see it anywhere. There's this one. Okay, there's that one. It finally freaking shows up. And... Why? Oh my god. They were not there before. At all. Oh my god. Such horse crap. I'm sorry. Such freaking horse crap. No time to chat right now. Such fucking horse crap. They were not there before at all. I looked for them and now they magically appear out of fucking nowhere. Fucking bullshit. Yeah, no, they were not here before. At all. <sighs> okay. So... 
Time is it in the game? 15.09 local time. So when is he... Alright. Remains at office. <clears throat> so I was gonna wait for two hours then. Okay. Um, how was that not two hours? I waited for two hours, game. Not one. It was 15.09. Now it's 16.42. How was that two hours? Okay, so 1642 to 1718. That is not an hour. Detonation occurred in five, four, three, two, one. I gotta wait for him to move. Uh. Final particle detonation concluded. It is now safe to resume normal activity for the remaining. All right. Well, then we're in. No. Okay. Hack another lock. Wow. I'm intrigued. Well, this one does not go there. This one does not go here either. Find anything useful on there? Yes, I did. For a whole eight thousand credits, but you know what? Whatever. It is what it is. And now we go back to the executive offices and we turn this one in. To the head on so herself. Keep out of my way and I'll keep out of yours. Oh, I want that. Hmm. 
Well, that took longer than expected. I hope whatever information Simon had was worth it. Project Dominion? That can't be right. Give me a moment to run a decryption. Let's see... Got the key, deciphering, and... done. Well, well, well. Looks like our friend Simon wasn't joking. Project Dominion isn't an Infinity LTD prototype. It's one of ours. <laughs> they didn't even bother to scrub the name. Meaning someone never thought they'd get caught. Come with me. Masako needs to hear about this. Don't cause any trouble. <laughs> Are you going to really walk all the way there? Are you Masako? Yes, you are. <gasps> oh. Hey, um. Oh. Ularu? What is this about? Who is this? This is our latest junior operative. I sent him on an assignment to rendezvous with an informant. But here's the real news. Infinity LTD has gotten their hands on Project Dominion. Impossible. Not only that, they're trying to sell it under their own name. Of course they are. <sighs> we need fines to investigate this immediately. Since you found this information, I am trusting you to help investigate. You see, Project Dominion is confidential. It requires a high security clearance to even know it exists. If Infinity LTD has obtained any information on it, that means we have a very well-connected mole within our corporation. Because you exposed this information, I have little reason to suspect you. That won't mean you'll be exempt from investigation, of course. My goodness, Ryujin has a mole problem. Ha! Huh. And here I thought your screening process would weed those individuals out. Such a shame. I suppose, since we're trusting you in this investigation, I can give you some details. Project Dominion is our latest advancement in NeuroAmp technology. Our current NeuroAmps are all external devices, but Project Dominion would be the first surgically implanted internal NeuroAmp on the market. The project itself was nearing completion, which is why exposing the mole is of utmost importance. We can't allow any more research to fall into their hands. Hmm. Exactly. I want you to go see Dalton Fines, our chief security officer. I'll send him the details. You've brought an enormous security violation to our attention, so I trust your help in any way possible. And thank you. Some operatives may have seized this as an opportunity for extortion. It's good to know your loyalty lies with us. Hmm. And we got a reimbursement at least. That's nice. Okay, now we're going downstairs. Where we were when we first got I here. here for ages. Oh, I found a bug. Bummer. Wait. So let's go up there. Wonder why. What up? Oh, is this what the elevator is? My will be over if this deal falls through. The Eugen CEO is no joke. Yeah. Oh no, he's right here. Good, you're here. So, thanks to your work in Sidonia, I'm told someone here has leaked information on Project Dominion to our adversaries at Infinity LTD. A mole within the company means a failing in my department. 
We're initiating Security Directive Theta, which means a full sweep of every employee in this building, Masako and myself included. Damn. Directive Theta allows for a third party to conduct the sweep. This way, the results can be objective. It's certainly a failing. But for now, we're focusing on redemption. Directive Theta has one unique case, and that's Laru Chen. The Directive calls for a specialized programmer known as Nix to investigate her. But he'll need your assistance for an unusual assignment. Ularu has the ability to thwart any investigation, so it's imperative she knows nothing about this directive. Her knowledge and talents are why she's the chief of operations. So she is the best equipped to evade detection. The risk is necessary and heavily mitigated. Nix will be giving you a program to run on Ularu's computer that will pull any data needed to prove her guilty or innocent. Your job is to infiltrate Ryujin Tower as an anonymous outsider in order to run this program completely off the books. This means your keycard will be turned off and the security guards in the building will consider you to be trespassing. We employ over 100 members of our security team who rotate floors and shifts. It's possible you'll be recognized, but even so, my orders will be strict. Authorized security personnel only. And you certainly won't qualify, making you an immediate suspect. If you get caught, the guards will follow standard procedure and lock you up in a cell for questioning. Provided you don't provoke them. And I strongly advise against provoking them. Damn. These are your fellow employees. We want this to go as smoothly as possible. Directive Theta requires utmost secrecy for success. We don't know what connections the Mole may have, so we can't risk informing our security team. At least one of us is. In the meantime, I'll ensure all non-essential employees, Ularu included, have left the building, claiming routine security maintenance. During that time, I'll be unlocking access to the tower's ventilation system, which you can utilize to help avoid detection. I'm also issuing you a disruptor, which should help in avoiding casualties should a worst-case scenario turn up. Ularu doesn't know about Directive Theta, but she'll fully expect a building closure while we investigate. As far as she knows, it's standard procedure, one that she no doubt has already made accommodations for. This is why we're bringing in a third party. She won't be expecting to go up against Neon's best. And it's also why secrecy is of utmost importance. Not even our own security detail can know, in case the information leaks. <coughs> it concerns me that you don't know. A disruptor is a non-lethal weapon. Our subsidiary, Arboron, makes an excellent one that I'll be issuing you. It will stun your target, giving you a chance to get away. But you'll only have so much time before the effects wear off. I'll keep a watchful eye and make certain your employee doesn't go on some kind of rampage. Good. No one can know about this, not even our own guards. So stealth will be of utmost importance. Mm. In fact, as much as I appreciate the words of your associate here, you may be better off heading in alone. Any precautions to mitigate risk should be taken. You'll meet Nix at Madame Sauvage's place. He knows Directive Theta has been enacted. 
Nova Blast Disruptor, huh? Interesting. Uh, it's one of the least. Okay. Well, I guess I'll put it on then. And actually. I'll do that as well. And I don't have a skill level. Or, you know, a skill point. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in the video here. The next mission sounds like fun. But it also sounds like hell. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. And I hope you guys are as well. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video... Feel free to subscribe, like, and hit the bell for more. And I will see all of you next time with some more Starfield. Have a wonderful day.